Let me start with Nicola Bully. Nicola's body was found on February the 19th, just over a mile from where she went missing. And Nicola, as we can see there, very sadly, still remains in the public eye. And the reason being is that a week ago, Dr. Richard Shepard, a forensic pathologist, told the media that he believed that specialist divers who were back now at the River Wire were looking for something that was connecting to her, a missing object or something similar to that. Lancashire Police have now responded in relation to that. And they have said that police divers acting under the instructions of Her Majesty's Coroner, His Majesty's Coroner, I should say, has been asked to go back to look at that scene. They've not been tasked to perform any further searches within the river or along the banks to locate any articles. The activity is to assist with the coronial process. So that's very interesting. But why has that given rise to further information and further speculation amongst the public? Well, quite simply, because of an interesting video that has now circulated. I'm going to play this video and you have a watch. This is a video by a YouTuber, uh, Solaris, and she puts it out there that she was walking the riverbank and she saw divers in the water. As you can see, what she said there is that she saw a diver on their back just below the weir, traveling downstream. Let's just have a little watch of that. There's the, there's the weir, and in order for Nicola to end up where she was, she would have to have gone over that weir. Where they are now, there is a almost 90 degree bend, which takes them, which would have taken Nicola round the corner and under a bridge. And of course, what they're looking at is potentially the flow of the water around the corner in terms of where Nicola's body would ended up, have to have ended up and gone round the bend. Now, there's been there's been criticism around Lancashire Police and Lancashire Police uh, have responded, of course, as a result of the forensic pathologist putting out his comment that there was an item they were searching for. That Lancashire Police have very clearly said that's not true. But it's interesting because I've always said that Nicola could not have gone into the water at the bench where they say she did. And that's because in order for Nicola to have traveled a mile downstream to where her body was eventually recovered, she would have to have negotiated plants in the water. There's a tree in one area, gone over the weir, round two bends, over stones, which are only partially submerged. That's very interesting. Is that possible? Lancashire Police faced heavy criticism for the way in which it handled a lot of the case, and much of it justified, especially the revealing of highly personal details about Nicola, including her struggle with alcohol. But the latest development does raise significant questions, such as why are these tests now being carried out, particularly bearing in mind that the flow of the water now will be very different to what it was back in February. So what has taken place? What we do know, of course, is that Nicola's body was found one mile downstream. But the question for the coroner is how? And it's clear that many questions about this case still remain unanswered, even to the coroner, whose job it is to try to piece together the last moments before Nicola's tragic death. An inquest into Nicola Bully's death is due to be heard on the 26th of June.